Run, Mozu! Please, dear! Run and don't look back! Mother, no! Take my hand! We'll run together! No, Mother! Everyone's mother's dying. Did you hear that? Those screams! Something terrible is happening! Alright. This village is under attack by Faceless. But this place has been ravaged. We're too late. There must be some survivors. With any luck, some people escaped. But if there's even one left here, somewhere... Let's get searching, everyone. Yeah, Faceless again. Faceless every time. Faceless all day and night. That's, that's what this game is about. Oh god, I'm supposed to have two more characters? <laughs> oh my god, is this gonna be super hard? I'm guessing the, the, what is it, difficulty doesn't actually matter? It's the same as the birthright one. And I don't think it should be that bad. You know what they say about superheroes, you can't be OP if your uh, parents don't die. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Parents must die to be OP. have a place to move, huh? Mother, my village! They're all dead! I'm alone. Nowhere to run. Uh, nowhere to go. And those monsters. They're coming back for me. Oh god. The pedo bears in chat. It's awesome. You really like her, huh? Alright, so I need to send Corrin down. Last time I did this, I just went straight down. Uh, but I think some of these ones move, maybe? I can't remember. I did this on the hard run. And then on the lunatic run, I didn't do it. Because no one cares about Mozu. Except some people. Some people love Mozu. Very much. Who is in need of defense or damage reduction? If he has more defense. No, if he has the same. Nah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe I'll do it this way. No, I gotta kill that thing. Okay, I'll just do it this way. Arthur's completely useless. I'll kill the first one, then I'll kite down. Looks really small. She actually doesn't look very big. Generals are usually huge. But she looks tiny. Oh crap, they actually move. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, so I have to kite up or down. Let's see, I don't want to do this. This may miss. That's not good. Do I use Silas? Silas won't actually kill, he has no assist. So this faceless reaches up to here. If I kill with Corrin alone, I can use Silas to assist and just block off this area. Probably use Silas. Oh, I think I know what to do. If Silas kills, that's the plan. But if he doesn't kill, it's not going to work out. Damn, an assist would have been nice here. Can't do that, though.
Yeah, I can't kill this guy. I can weaken him though, hopefully. But he's gonna miss again. Wow, Arthur! You actually hit! That's amazing! 11 plus 4 doesn't kill. Oh crap, maybe I made a mistake here. Oh crap. Might have made a mistake here. Hopefully I didn't. Oh god, that sucks. Let us join our strength. <laughs> Alright, Effie and Silas can kill this guy. It's almost 100% chance. If I miss them, rip. That was kind of the issue with uh, Awakening, I think. If I remember correctly, a lot of the accuracy was very low. At least in the early game on Lunatic. So if you miss once, you basically screw up your run, and you have to redo it. Alright, so this guy's... Uh... I want to finish the map quicker though, I don't want to just take it slowly. Yeah, don't throw your 3DS. That's not a good idea. You won't stop me. That went well. Okay, so this guy's in range of everything, this guy's in range of this tile. So I want to stand on this tile if possible. No abilities. Wait, what is this guy's range? Okay, he's out of range. So that's good. Hmm, that's dangerous. Okay, hold on a second, let's see. Felicia can't heal this tile if I put Elise here. So I have to put Elise there. Oh, whoops, wait, wait, wait. Can she heal? Oh, she can. Okay, good. The other option is to put Corrin there. Oh, he's out of range. Damn. That sucks. Okay, Silas then. Maybe one of them will attack Silas. Split the damage a little bit. The bad thing about splitting damage is that you gotta heal two people. But I don't want to put all my experience on that character. Unless it's Korn, because the only consistent character is Korn. He's always with you. Oh my god, this guy's gonna chase me forever. You're never gonna catch me. Let's see. Uh, 13 damage. So if I kill this guy and then Effie assists, will this work out? Can I kill the guy on the bridge? Damn. 
Damn, if Silas were here, that would have been better. Because I could have switched off. Uh, switched off Arthur to someone else. Actually, Felicia can use range attacks too, huh? Okay, it's fine then. Level 10 is the immediate goal for everyone, but most of the experience will be going in corn once he gets in range. Yes. You just got magic, you piece of garbage. I wish you would stop getting magic. Silas's growths on Lunatic, on my Lunatic run, was so bad. Like it seriously pained me to watch him level up sometimes. Damn, I'm not in range. Give him bolt weapons if he gets super high magic. Uh, he he probably won't. His magic growth is really really bad. So this guy, do I hit him or do I not hit him? He's gonna die next turn anyway. Might as well hit him for experience. We can do this together. I love that animation when she flicks out a knife from her foot. It's so cool. Yeah, Moses is probably really good. I wouldn't be surprised. That's why I want to use her now. That was too close. But the goal is to get Corrin to second class by probably chapter 12 or 13. Because I, I class changed a little bit late on Birthright. I think it was like... 16? 15. No, it was 15. It was 15. 14 damage. What if I use the Yato? 12 damage. Mm. Well, when in doubt, use the shuriken or dagger. Also, to watch that, that's amazing to watch. Alright, 19 damage. Mm. If I assist with Effie, will that be enough? 21 attack versus 22 attack. Wow, Effie's really strong. Oh, I'm off by 1 damage. Alright, Arthur. It's your time to shine. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do the less risky approach. Level up his lance a little bit. Or just sword. I'll just go sword. <laughs> Mosey is your best unit? Better than Lobster and Takumi? Is that possible? Lobster and Takumi are so OP. Rescue Mozu next turn. Wait, they're not gonna attack her, are they? Because she's actually in range to die now. Oh crap! Uh. They didn't. They didn't attack her last time I played this map. But what if they do attack her? She can't survive, right? 16 health. Yeah, there's no way. Wait, they do attack? Crap. 
I gotta use freeze this early? I know the stabs are limited. Oh man, are you serious? Arthur, do something! Protect her! Actually, if I put Silas in range and he had shelter, he would have been able to save her. Would have saved the staff. How much do I care about one charge of freeze? You get to buy it, but it's limited still. Huh? Hello? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's still limited. Because you only get a certain amount of them. I don't know if Freeze is infinite, also. But don't tell me if it is. I, I ran out of rescues at the end of the Birthright run. That's why I'm kind of worried here. No! T stop it with the spoilers! Don't tell me when I need certain items! Just let me figure this out by myself. Seriously, is it is it really fun to just watch someone who knows everything about everything in the game? Or is it more fun, to, more fun to watch someone struggle with the game? I just don't get it. Put at least two spaces? It's one space, isn't it? It's adjacent only. It doesn't work. Alright, we'll save Mozu. It doesn't matter if chapter 10 is a thing, because I don't know that yet. I don't want to know it either. There's no point, like, telling me how... Okay, it's like in inside a, in a movie. If, when you watch a movie, it's like, oh, uh, one hour into the movie, the killer kills someone. Or one hour into the movie, the killer reveals that he is the person's cousin or whatever. I don't know. Like, how fun is that? Gameplay spoilers are the same as story spoiler spoilers, because it ruins the surprise of having to deal with a certain situation, as well as which characters are good or bad. Exactly the same thing. Oh god, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Corrin's gonna need help here. Two of them are in range of him. Do I have a mod? She's not here right now. She's busy with her own stuff. I mean, the worst the worst case scenario is that I have to restart, and you have to watch me do it all over again. But that's the fun part. The reaction of getting wrecked. It's so much more fun to see someone get wrecked. Okay, I'm just gonna pair Mosey with him then. Are you okay? Ah, oh, no, my mother, my friends. I'm here to help. Where are they? My mother wouldn't take my hand. She's, she's. I'm so sorry. But there's no time to grieve. Not now. Stay behind me. I'll keep you safe. No, I have to fight for mother, for all my friends, for everything those monsters took away from me. I don't know if you can fight right now. You do like zero damage. No, you, you, you do zero damage. The only way she's ever going to deal damage is if Felicia weakens them for her. Let's see... Oh, Corrin is actually not in range. That's not good then. I want Corrin to be in range. Can I kill with... No, I probably can't. I was going to try and kill with uh, Mozu Assist, Effie, Felicia, but I don't think that's possible. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing Mozu does one damage after the debuff. One or two damage. I want Silas to be here to tank these attacks. Eleven damage. Eleven plus zero. Eleven plus two. Seven. Eighteen. Twenty damage. This is not going to work. Silas has to attack here. Oh, 
on my honor as a knight. Don't take all the glory. Mozu is Batman. Well, hopefully Mozu is as OP as Batman. not much damage at all. Okay, it's more than I thought. Uh, so 15 damage. I could actually feed experience to Effie and Mozu. Actually, I don't have a choice, do I? I have to do it anyway. Unless I crit here, then I can't do it. Let's see. Mozu does 1 damage. If Effie misses a 96, Mozu dies. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm expecting to use Felicia a lot in this run, just to debuff people, because the enemy has the enemies have so much stats, so many stats. Please don't miss. 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 Were you even trying? Oh, I probably could have put a Lee in range too. At least would have done two damage, or Mosley would have done two damage with the Lee in range, I think. Or does it not affect the supporting character? I wonder. Oh, whoops! Wrong weapon on. Ow! Alright, Silas is not in range. I want Mosey to get a kill. Damn it. I could have transferred Arthur to Mozu? Yeah. That would have worked too. I mean... Uh, would it have? If she gets reduced damage on the assist. It's like half damage or something. It would have been like one or two damage more, maybe. No, it would have been like full damage, actually. Hold on. What is this assist, anyway? No! 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 I don't care about Silas. Oh, it's four strength. Oh, I thought it was two strength. Oops. That's pretty good then. Interesting. Alright, see you later. How do I want to do this now? Nobody's in range. Mozu is in range. If I put Mozu here, she dies to this guy. I think I just play it safe. If I do it like this, she won't die. Giving... Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe she still dies. <laughs> Damn. Her HP is so garbage. Yeah, this is bad positioning. Oh well. I'll just do it like this. <sighs> HP tonics aren't expensive, but they do add up, so yeah. I want to try and avoid using them if possible, for now. But the reason why I selected Apothecary was to use them. I'm gonna try to give Mozu experience for this one. Gotta get that aptitude to kick in. It's called aptitude, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay then, you do zero damage. I put a lease here. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. I just want to debuff for now. Wait, if I don't debuff, can I actually weaken this guy even more? Ooh, 1 HP left. Ooh. Let's do that then. Uh -oh. Oh, damn it, Corrin! 2%, come on! Yeah, you did a good job! You stole experience from Ozu. Good one. You're the best. Huh. 
Oh man, 2% chance. Never crit when you want to. Always crit when you don't. It's okay, it's still Corrin. Corrin deserves experience. Alright, this one's at 11. Let's see if I can weaken this one enough. Ah, oh, 12. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, damn. Ah, huh? 7. Damn, I really have to give her Arthur then. Give. Yeah, give her Arthur here. Hmm. Ooh, that's dangerous. Ah, how do I do this without killing myself? Put Silas here. I think that'll work. Oh, I can't do that. Because if I transfer, I lose movement. Damn, the greed. This one's really difficult to pull off. Wait, how much damage is that? 15 damage? Oh, I'm inside the forest, right, okay. Oh, you do 11? Come on. Damn. Can Moza deal 4 damage without Arthur? Actually, Effie could work too. That works. Just don't crit, it's 3% this time. It's 1% higher than 2. Alright, this should be fine. Let's see how much she does right now. 2 damage. So with Effie, she should be able to kill. Oh, Effie is two strength. That's why I got it mixed up. Ha ha ha! There we go. You're not gonna miss, are you? Just, just don't miss. We can do this together. Yeah, you did it! Good job, Mozu. I feel like Elise is just gonna get magic, luck, and resistance every level. I hate characters like this. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh my god, Arthur's voice is so stupid. Oh man, this is funny. These characters are awesome. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Mistakes were made. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Mistakes were made. Lots of mistakes were made. Okay, I'm hoping that Corrin deals 14 damage with Yato. How much attack is this? 8 attack, minus seven, uh, 6. 16 attack. 16 attack. 11 defense, 5 damage. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, 16 minus... Wait, hold on a second. How much does Corrin deal with Yato? It can't be that low. What am I talking about? Why is it so... I think I'm going crazy.
I don't know how much this deals. Oh, whatever. Oh, hey! Yeah, you missed all of Wilbur. Part of Wilbur, I guess. Silas needs level 10. Let's see. Ooh, exactly 14 damage. That does 12. No crit this time. Yay, go Mozu! Uh crap? Oh crap. Oh crap! Silas, don't miss. We can do this together. Please don't miss. Oh my god, Silas, you're awesome. Good job. Yes. No. That will not suffice for now. That is so horrible. Alright. Let's uh, move on. I should put Arthur with Effie, huh? But Effie's so slow. Because then they can build support and I can probably just marry them off. If I do get better characters, I, I'm not using Arthur, ever. If I can avoid it, I'm not using Arthur. He's so terrible. Maybe if I- okay, maybe I'll just get his level 10 skill, that's it. But at this point I don't think I'm going to be using Arthur at all. Okay, who deals more damage? Silas does. You're not alone. I'm here for you. Yeah, my Silas never got levels like that on the hard run. But he's been getting a lot of these crappy levels ever since I started Lunatic. It started with Birthright, and now it's happening on Conquest again. If anyone misses here. <laughs> Oh my god, if Corn misses here. Oh crap, I don't want to risk that. Oh man. Do I want to do this? It's so greedy doing these plays. Okay, Corn can still miss. But at least I won't die. Stop giving me magic! Holy crap! This is bad. This is really, really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, the levels are predetermined. I noticed that on Birthright. But you can, you can manipulate the RNG. I just don't know how. Unfortunately. But that was terrible. That was horrible. This guy moves, this guy doesn't move. Are they both in range? They're all in range. Okay, so do I take both of them or do I just kill one by one? 
I think I need corn to get experience now. Oops, double switch. Transfer. Why didn't this guy move? Oh, he wasn't in range, I see. Effie needs level 10, Arthur needs level 10, Silas needs level 10, Mosey needs level everything. Damn, they deal too much damage. That sucks. Oh, I can't put Mozu in range, because this guy's also in range. Uh, that level up was so disappointing, I want to level up again. But I need two kills. Mozu kill the boss? Very unlikely, actually. Those are really high stats. Level 10 faceless. I do it this way. That's the second 70% that Effie dodged. So much for being a knight, right? I'm pretty sure I can kill now. This will deal six. No. That's not six. Okay. Alright, let's let's do it this way. This will be six. Five. Okay, even better. Perfect. Let's do it this way. Oh god, if I miss... Uh, if I miss, I don't die, so it's okay. What should we do? Well, look at me. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Damn, Elisa's ability is pretty OP. I like it. So I need to deal 10 damage? 9 damage? How do I deal 9 damage? I can deal 9 damage like this. That's not bad, actually. But Felicia has to attack. Hmm. How do I do this? God, I've been so greedy on this run. No! Oh, just as I said that. Oh, there goes the 3%. Okay, well, Silas will be 10 soon, I think. So he gets his shelter. Damn it. That greed, though. 
Boss is so tanky. I gotta weaken him. Play with Felicia next turn. Actually, this is magic damage. This will deal a lot. And I get doubled. What? Wow, I get doubled. Wow, Corn, you suck so much. You really gotta get some speed soon. Because this is not very good for the Lord character of the game. Oh, whoops. Uh, bad spot. Okay, you can sit here. Actually, let's do it this way. This will be the Mozu show. We'll give Mozu all the experience. Oh god, never mind. That damage. Never mind. It's not gonna work. Okay. Uh, Silas, go ahead and do zero damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. If I attack this guy, I die next turn. I can't do that either. This is terrible. This is really, really terrible. Ten damage. Take eighteen damage. I'll die next turn. Arthur gives two speed, one skill. Two speed, will that work? Two speed will make it so it doesn't double. So we have nine speed versus thirteen. So if I don't get doubled, what happens? Twelve damage. Take nine. Okay. Wow. Nice growth. Some HP and defense would have been nice, or some HP and resistance. But still nice. In the name of justice. All right, all right, all right. This thing has 1 HP left. Can Mozu kill this thing at 1 HP? Actually, I can just use the corn assist, huh? Let's uh, weaken this guy first. Oh man, Mozu, please. You're killing me here. Actually, you're killing yourself. If Corn misses, I die. Oh my god. Can I risk this? No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that to Mozu. Not after all this. Not after we, we wasted a free staff on her. It has to be Silas. I'm pretty sure Silas can attack. 100%. 90%. Wow, what? Silas has the highest hit out of everyone, doesn't he? Okay, I have an idea. Next turn. Oh, whoops! Oh, okay, fine, you can have the experience, it's fine. Whoops, whoops. That sucks. Yeah, she needs level 10 anyway. That, that's what I have to say about this. This guy's too tanky anyway. Don't need to worry about it. Yeah, I'm not risking 90% ever. If it means someone dying, I'm not risking it. Or I'll try not to, unless unless I have no other option, I won't risk it. Alright, so we finished out the last of the Faceless. Um, but what do I do now? They took my mother, my life. You must have some family near here. I'll be glad to take you there. There's no one. I couldn't even start over here by myself. All the homes, fields, it's all destroyed. But I wouldn't want to stay here even if it wasn't. Everyone I call family is dead. Every house a grave. Listen. 
Listen, we'll take you in. We can't replace all those you lost. But we'll take care of you. Can I join your group? Yeah. Yes, but only until we find you a safe place to call home. Our group, a family of sorts, is bound by a dangerous cause. We go from one battle to the next, ever in peril. That's no life for you. I'm not afraid. I can help. I might even save you or your friends. Let me join your cause, whatever it is. I'll keep your family alive. Yes. Of course. I have to admit, you sound like uh, you sound just like one of us already. I'll do my best. And I'll stay safe. After all, mother's watching over me now. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Oh man.